Hi, I'm Becky Stern with another craft video. This month on Craft, Klutz is sponsoring our special theme, Super Crafty Kids. To celebrate, let's teleport to Austin, Texas, where Craft contributing writer Rachel Hobson will share a Klutz project with her kids. Thanks, Becky. Today we're going to be talking about the Capsters book from Klutz. This is a fun kit that lets you create all kinds of bottle cap art with your kids. And once you've created the bottle cap art, then you can turn them into things like magnets, keychains, earrings, bracelets, anything you want. As a mom, I like having a kit like this because sometimes the kids come in and they say, Mom, I'm bored. Mom, I want to make something. And I don't really have time to put something together for them to make. What this kit does is it provides everything you need to sit down, open it up, and make stuff with your kids within five minutes of them saying, Mom, I'm bored. So speaking of my kids, I enlisted them to help show you how this project works. And uh, it was interesting filming them. But I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you enjoy the kit from Klutz. <laughs> Let's check out the Capsters package so you can see what all comes with it. At the top of the package is a spiral bound book. This is where you're going to find the instructions for creating your Capsters. They're going to give you ideas on how to make them look the best way possible. And they also give you ideas for projects of things you can do once you're done creating them. At the back of the book, they have these little things called pop art. Each of these circles is perforated around the edges, so you can just pop it out and use it as your art inside your capster. There's all kinds of lettering, photographs, patterns, logos, all kinds of things that you can use. And also, they're double-sided, so you have double the choice of images to use in your project. Down at the bottom of the package, you find the bottle caps. These are special bottle caps because they have safety coated edges. That means that they're not sharp and they're not harmful to kids. Over here, you've got charms that you can use in your, in your capster. They're just little plastic trinkets. There's animals, ice cream, eyeball, all kinds of stuff that you can use. They also show you in the book how to go around your house and find items that you might have to use as charms in your capster. Finally, on this side, you've got your glaze. This is the craft lacquer medium that you pour into your capster once you've decided on your art and your charm, and it gives it that protective coating and seals it and makes it look shiny and glossy. Okay, Ben, so you've picked out all your pictures now for your capsters. What comes next? Um, you have to, you have to put, um, you have to put special wood. Are you going to put a lot of drops or just a few? Okay, so you've put some glue in your cap. What comes next? You put your picture in, and then you put your what your eyeball. Place your eyeball in it. Okay. Then mm -hmm. I'm going to put some of my little charms inside the picture. <coughs> to make it look better. And I'll just square it around where they are to make them get down to where I want them. And then they can stay there. Then you want to take your glaze again and just fill in all around the charm. It'll settle out and cover everything. Right now it's going to look a little cloudy but when it dries, it'll be clear. The Capsters kit comes with tons of pictures that you can use for your projects. If you decide you'd like to try something different though, all you need is a one inch hole punch. I've cut up an old Ikea catalog here. You could cut up pictures from vintage kids books. You could print pictures off your computer and use those. Just be sure you cover them in packing tape before you put them into the glaze. That way the images won't run. <laughs> 